Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here with another video in the Desired State Configuration series. Today we're going to be talking about snippets. Snippets are reusable blocks of text you can quickly insert into your scripts. Today I will show you how to access and create them for use in PowerShell ISE. To begin, start Windows PowerShell ISE as administrator. To access the list of available snippets, simply press Ctrl J or select Start Snippet from the edit menu. Now using the mouse or the arrow keys, select the desired snippet to have it placed inside your script. You may remember from the Hello World video that we use the script resource to print Hello World to the screen. Using the script resource requires a lot of typing because you have to implement the get, test, and set scripts each time. With a snippet, we can really ease the use of that resource. So for our example, we're going to create a script resource snippet. The first step is to define the text of our snippet. We are going to do that by assigning the text to a variable we can use in the call to the new ISE snippet commandlet. Because our string is going to span multiple lines, we are going to use a PowerShell feature called a here string. You specify the start of a here string with the at symbol followed by a single or double quote, which must be the last thing on that line. We are then free to type any text we need even if that text contains new lines or quotes. We then specify the end of the here string by typing the matching quote followed by the at symbol. The quote and the at symbol must be the only text on that line with no spaces around it. With our text defined, let's call the new ISE snippet commandlet. You must provide the text, title, and description. Optional parameters include caret offset, which defines where you want the cursor position after the snippet is inserted, and the author, which is the name of the author of the snippet. There is also a force switch, which can be passed if you need to update an existing snippet. Now press F5 to run our script. Now we can press Ctrl J to use our snippet. Finally, we can use the get isc snippet commandlet to list all the user defined snippets. I hope you found this tip useful and use it to save yourself from a lot of unneeded typing. Until next time, I'm Donovan Brown.